Have you ever heard of the style of chess where there are explosions on the chessboard? I'm not talking about when you lose a game and get angry and throw the pieces all over the place. I'm talking about Atomic. Atomic was developed in the late 90s as far as I know, and it just hit chess.com slash variants today. So I'm going to show you the basics and then I'm going to play a few games in the pool. I'm also going to include a URL in the description to a website with different Atomic openings. Okay, let's go. The first rule of Atomic Chess is that when you capture a piece, your piece blows up and the piece that you take blows up. So on a very elementary level, that looks something like this. Okay, if I go here, both of these things disappear. Now, the next concept that you have to understand is on the square that the capture occurs, surrounding pieces will explode. Pieces, not pawns. So if this happens, you'll notice that this pawn does not disappear. However, if this knight comes, this knight will in fact disappear if this capture were to occur, okay? You can also accidentally blow up your own pieces. Uh, for, for instance, if, you know, let's just say something like this, notice when this capture occurs, black will be exploding every surrounding piece, including their own. The way you win in Atomic is, oh, well, there's two ways. Uh, you have to capture something that's adjacent to the enemy king. So in this position, if the queen were to take here, that would result in a victory for black. Okay? Now, there are also ways you can win, like checkmate. Why? Because you cannot capture on a square adjacent to your king. That would look something like this. If this queen came out this way, this move would be checkmate. It would be checkmate because you cannot capture the queen since the king is adjacent and you cannot blow up your own king. By that logic, the king can also not capture anything. But there's one really fun rule about Atomic. It's the fact that the kings can touch. Literally. You can attach the king to the enemy king. Why? Well, think about it. This is the king safeguarding itself against explosion. Because you would be taking the enemy king with it. That happens in very advanced games, oftentimes way further down the line. But this is the one mode of, of chess where kings can actually hug each other. I should show you a few openings, right? I think that makes sense. In Atomic, you can win in two moves. Uh, you can play the move knight f3, and if you land the knight on e5, like let's say black just copies you, this is already winning, since now you have a fork that's just cannot be stopped. Whatever black does, you will take the pawn, and the king will explode next. So oftentimes, knight f3 gets played at an elementary level, uh, and it, it, it is considered the best first move in Atomic, and black should play f6. Black is actually forced to play f6, uh, because if black doesn't, then, then you can play knight e5 and you can win. Playing d6 doesn't work, because we'll just go the other direction. And if this now, uh, I think knight f7 is good. Uh, you can also take this and blow these up. Knight e6 is not good, since this would only be a trade of a bishop for knight. Knight f7 guarantees that you at least win the queen, for example, so that's bad. Uh, there's also fun uh, other concepts where you can kind of block a queen attack with, like, just the pawn. Uh, what I mean by that is, let's say, uh, in a, in, just in a very drastic example, something like check. b5 here is an untouchable pawn because the, the queen would explode if it took it. So you can kind of leave pieces hanging sometimes like this. Um... That's kind of it. Uh, my favorite thing to do is to play knight f3. I also like e3. It can be very tricky. In general, these two moves in the beginning are very good. Most openings are pretty decent. Just make sure that you remember when you capture stuff uh, that you open the door for, for other pieces. Let's just, uh, let's just go play some games. I'm going to play 3-2. Uh, I'm going to play random people. And I'm like 1800 now in the variance portal. Uh, my first opponent is 1485. So let's play e3. And I will tell you if people message me, oh my gosh, are you the real Gotham? Which has happened the few times that I've been playing this uh, for fun. Okay, that's a very good move. Now if I go back to this, I lose. So I'm going to play queen f3. Now if my opponent goes for knight e4, uh, I will play queen takes and I will win. That's a decent move, trying to go g4. Now I have knight h3. If g4, I just go to g5 and I win. So very important here. Actually, is my opponent... 
Okay, now my opponent loses by force. <laughs> Even though they get my queen, they cannot stop me from taking on f7. Okay, and my opponent resigns. Okay, what was the best move there for my opponent after knight h3? I'm honestly not sure because I'm threatening to take this. Probably something like e6, and then if I were to take, queen f6. And you would think, that's a free queen, but remember that my queen would explode if I were to take that queen. So that wouldn't work. And I shouldn't do something like this, because as juicy as that looks, queen takes pawn is, uh, is just very good. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's play another game. Generally, 3-2 uh, challenges lead to games very quickly. Okay, this person is 1498. They also have Levi in their name, which is good. Now, I'll show you one counter trick against knight f3. You don't always have to play f6. You can play e5, and it's not great if they know what they're doing. But I'm just sort of hoping that perhaps they don't. Perhaps they don't even know why they're playing knight f3. Okay, it seems like they don't. e4. Uh, bishop c4 is very rarely a threat because you have d5. So I'll play knight to c6. I think that should be okay. Probably not the best move. Probably better to go like this. Now, they're threatening to win, but I have d5. And they might forget that they open this if they take. And then they would lose. They didn't. Okay, very good. So now if I take, I'm opening, I'm also getting rid of that, and I'm threatening to win. And they missed it this time. Okay. Now, I don't want to win every game in three or four moves. I, I, I do want to get a, a challenging game at some point, but there's not much that I can do about controlling who I'm playing or not. Okay. This, this person... This person is just, okay, 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 okay. C6 to corral the knight. So the knight can't move. The knight, some, sometimes people try to crawl forward. Okay, if I win this game in, in two turns, I'll be very upset. Again, that you should not take this early because you're opening your opponent's queen. And we win in two moves. Again, let me go see if there's a way that I can set the challenge to be... A little bit higher rated, perhaps? Doesn't look like I can. So then I'll just keep playing 3-2. Okay, sounds good. Okay, 1660. This should go a little bit easier. Or longer, not easier. Okay, knight f3, f6. Very good. e3. A decent first move. My opponent wants knight g4. I'll stop that with h3. Right? And if he goes there, that's fine. C6 is a weird move. What is C6 all about? Now, what if I go bishop to d3 with the idea to take and win material like that? Now, knight f5 here is good. Because if I take the knight... Wow, look at that. And he's threatening to go here. Okay. This is, this is a lot better than it was before. What if I play knight e5? If I go knight e5... That threatens to win. Pawn takes would blow up the knight. Pawn takes would blow up the knight. So that probably is a good move. If that were to happen, queen h5 looks very good, but I'm not so sure. Whoa, d5. That move loses immediately, actually, to not knight f7, because the queen would move, but to knight d7, and now the, the, the bishop on f8 cannot run away. You just can't run away here, and knight takes f8 is winning. Because again, remember, you cannot capture anything that would be adjacent to your king's position. Okay, I said it was going to be uh, a bit of a longer game, but turns out that I, I was wrong. It's not going to be a longer game, unfortunately. Well, that's okay. We keep going. At some point, I must come across like an atomic grandmaster, okay? I don't think Curious Monkey is going to be the atomic grandmaster. How about this? Rather than going straight for the kill, I will play a bit more reserved. Just please don't blunder knight e5. Okay, very good. So people have seemingly learned this in the last day, because yesterday, people were not doing this. Knight f5. Uh, d4. Now, my opponent really should develop before doing anything else. Knight e3, losing your... Yeah, like, 
I knew that was gonna happen, but that's not what you want. In fact, this is already lost for black if I were to play queen h5 and queen d5. Uh, which would result in a fork both here and here. I guess I'll just do it. I guess I'll just do it. It's, it's, in my opinion, it's kind of silly to... Yeah, now queen f7 and king d7 and I take this. And it's, uh, that's a win. A lot of 14 and 1500s, a lot of new players it seems like. Okay, knight f3, e5. I'm basically, whoops, I'm basically hoping for somebody to go knight. Okay, very good. So this is my, tra this is my trap line. Now knight f7 here looks uh, very good. Ooh, d4 is the best move, I think. I'm not mistaken. Of course, don't take because you would lose your queen. Um, how about d5? I'm, I'm in trouble after d4, I, th I th think. The point is that after... Oh, I'll show you after. I'll show you after. Knight e6, luckily I can get rid of the knight. So knight e6, I now no longer have to deal with the, the pesky knight. That's a good move. Of course, remember, I cannot take the bishop. Let me... Oh, but if I go here, they take. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. I'm in a lot of trouble here. And my opponent is threatening this. Oh my, if I go here, my opponent will take, removing my knight from existence. The bishop then attacks this, and if I were to move my queen, bishop e7 wins the game. Because my king can't escape. <gasps> oh my, I think I have to sacrifice my queen. I didn't see anything else. Maybe I could have put my king on d7 and moved my queen somewhere else. I'm not even sure my... I, I don't know if my opponent realized how strong the move that they just played was. But, uh... This is bad. Okay, so now we've got to really work to get back into this game. I'm gonna hide my king. This is the good thing. If you've made it this far in the video... Then, that's a positive. Because no, you could have just left. You could have been like, oh, Gotham's beating up all these, you know, not very good players. I, I don't want to watch this. So now I have to go like this. Will my opponent sacrifice the queen? Oh my gosh. This person is destroying me. I have to go knight f6. Now they will take, probably. Oh my. Oh, there's just that. Wow. I just lost all my pieces. I'm totally lost here. If I go g5, then check and queen comes down to e8. If knight f6, then take and I lose this. And if I were to go, like the best move here is bishop b4, but then just c3. Wow, that's completely insane. I just got wiped off. Who is this? Unbelievable, this person is so strong. Anonymous superstar over here. Wild stuff, very, very well played. Now pawn takes just wins. Actually, wait a second, does it just win? Hold on. There is one trap here. One trap I just realized. When my opponent plays this move, I'll go here. And this looks like mate, but I blow up the king first. That was, that was sh short-lived excitement. King d1. Yeah, now it's just game over. Queen takes is just mate. Or, not mate, but my king explodes. Wow. Majestic Creek absolutely demolished me. Turns out e5 isn't so good after all. That was a wild game. Okay. Knight f3. Everything my opponent played there was really good. Okay. We'll show you a new meta here with knight d4. Trying to go knight f5. The best move here for black is knight h6. To stop that from happening. 
Look at that. Now I don't know what to do. Maybe g4 to prevent this knight from moving anywhere? Maybe. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. In my opinion, Atomic is a lot more fun when you don't know the openings. c6. Knight c3. Hmm. A big center is good in Atomic too. So e5 and d5 would be really strong here for my opponent. Uh, well, that knight is supposed to stop me from playing knight f5. Now that you've allowed me to go knight f5, I'm threatening to take, and that will be a big kaboom. A very, very, very big kaboom. Kaboom. The aforementioned kaboom has occurred. Queen b6 here will threaten my pawn. But then I'll just play d4. Queen b6 actually looks very good. It looks like it's just over, but uh, I can block on the diagonal with e3 or d4, and then I would be okay. Most of your atomic games will probably not last 10 moves. I mean, if people are blundering, they might, but I would, uh, I would think otherwise. So b4 prevents, again, the knight from moving. If he takes, then, okay, sure, not a problem. That's, that's life. So go d4. I want to bring my queen out. I mean, I can't really take, but I'm maybe something like this. That would win the game. Having said that, if I go to d2, he will go to h6. So, and then maybe I'll go to d3. So, some, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. f5, all right. Wants this. Don't just take. Queen h4 would win there for black. Queen h4, man, that's mean, very mean. I'm going to play h4 myself so that my opponent cannot play queen h4. That's how you have to think in atomic. You have to think, like, how are they going to... Uh, how are they going to create an attack on you? Don't just take things because you want to see them go kaboom. They took on g4, but now... Oh, what? Knight of this... I'm gonna do what that guy did to me. See, I'm learning from the best here. Bishop g5. How long? How long could? Okay, that's this is the first moment I really could have played bishop g5. Now I'm attacking this. Probably next e3 and queen h5 just win. Just have to make sure I'm pretty defended. Okay, I'm also threatening this move, which would blow up the queen. So don't forget that adjacent pieces. Yeah, and since I get the check first, I'm gonna win this game. Because you cannot go here now. And I think queen e8 is mate. If king f8, this is mate. Actually, sadly, it's not. Oh, that's mate. That's mate. That's, first of all, that's mate in normal chess. And it's mate in atomic. So that's pretty cool. I'll play one last game. One last game. Hopefully I don't get Majestic Creek again. I did not get Majestic Creek again. I got e3. What's the best move here for black? Is it knight f6? Oh boy. Oh boy. This guy's playing what I play. That's not good. I don't actually know the theory at all. So I think I'm going to go with e6. Now, this loses to knight e4. Please don't make my final game four moves long. Don't take on b7. Don't do it. Knights are way too tricky here. Again, if he doesn't know this idea, he plays that idea, which is an idea. I'll play bishop b4, I think. Or c6. But bishop b4 prevents his knight from moving. So now he can't play... Uh, he can't move his knight because I would take here. Okay, now he can't move his knight because he'd hang his king. Also, now this is a threat because if he were to take, he would lose his knight, right? So now I can play knight d4 attacking his queen this would blow up his own knight so actually this is not even quite a threat since the knight is on a mine square this would explode the knight so i would take the king i'm not even sure if this is a legal move i th it must be but i'm actually not sure i'm not sure if it's programmed to be illegal or not but knight d4 here is a good move so so you need space in atomic is really what 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 this is all about you need space you need more space 
and you need to be very careful with uh, weakening your king so quickly. That first game, e5, f5, was, it's just not... It's not a good idea. Okay, my opponent's deep in thought here. He could very well sacrifice the queen. Might even be the best thing, because if you don't sack it, I don't know, I might have some stuff. I might get my knight in there, make you lose a piece. Very long thought here from my opponent. As far as computers in Atomic, okay, he does sacrifice the queen after all. He goes from my bishop and my rook. Um, if I go here... Okay, now this is a check. Of course my opponent will take the bishop. Not much to think about. But then it's, it's easily winning because I'll play... Oh, wait, what? Hello? Okay, I'll castle. I mean, I'm just leaving it... No, still don't want it. Oh, I still be very careful. You can you can always lose in atomic chess. Oh boy, wait. This is very bad, actually. But I have knight e4 maybe? Or knight g knight. Oh man, if I go h6, he goes knight e5 threatening this and my queen. <gasps> oh god, it's never too late to lose. Oh my. What do I play? Knight g4, knight g5. I don't want to lose my queen. Knight e4, knight g5 I would take. Knight e4 this. There is nothing. g5? No. I was just losing my queen? I'm so sad. I can't believe that just happened. So knight e4 here. Hmm. It looks like I'm just going to lose my queen. There's nothing I can actually do here. I'm going to play h6. And then I have to move my, 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 uh, my guy here out of the way. Wow. Unbelievable. Okay, king h8. Now, taking here is actually also kind of potentially very reasonable. Because that just leaves me with queen and bishop. Two rooks in, a, in, in this... Oh, and he goes for that. I'm playing an expert. I am playing an expert. Okay, let's bring this bishop down here. This just looks very annoying. Maybe bishop e1 was better. I do believe the queen here is superior. But who really cares what I believe? I'm pretty, I seem to be pretty terrible at this game. Queen g5. Or maybe this way? That could be the way. That could be the way. I mean, all you need with a queen is a direct line of attack. That's what you need. Mm. Bishop takes is probably winning because I remove... Yes, that's winning. Because now this is mate. Big mistake there for my opponent. Now, queens are just super difficult to deal with. And now if f4, which is a good move, queen g4 sneaks around and we win. Bishop takes c3, very important move. It's an instructive moment, even in atomic chess, and that's mate. And we win. Wow. I have no idea what, went, what happened in this game. I don't know if... If my opponent had gone here, this would have been a totally different game. They got greedy. I guess they wanted two pieces instead of one. Here, I would have probably done the same. I would have moved my bishop down. And then it's a game. And then it's a game. I don't really know what's happening here. But the queen is just too powerful. So, lesson learned. Queens and knights OP. Welcome to Atomic Chess.